Soil erosion in agriculture is a massive problem all around the world. Within the last 150 years, half of the planet's topsoil has been lost. Topsoil is the top layer of the Earth's surface. It is dark in color and high in organic matter, which makes it very easy to till and fertilize for growing plants. In addition to erosion, soil quality is affected by other aspects of agriculture. These impacts include compaction, loss of soil structure, nutrient degradation, and soil salinity. These are very real and at times severe issues. The effects of soil erosion go beyond the loss of fertile land. It has led to increased pollution and sediment in streams and rivers, clogging these waterways and causing declines in fish and other species. Degraded lands are also often less able to hold onto water, which can worsen flooding. Sustainable land use can help reduce the impacts on agriculture and livestock, preventing soil erosion and the loss of valuable land to deforestation. Deforestation and the use of agrochemicals are one of the main causes of soil erosion. Deforestation is the permanent destruction of forests in order to make the land available for other uses. An estimated 18 million acres of forest, which is roughly the size of the country of Pan Am, are lost each year. Without plant cover, erosion can occur and sweep the land into nearby rivers. The agricultural plants that often replace the trees cannot hold on to the soil, and many of these plants, such as coffee, cotton, and wheat, can actually worsen soil erosion. As land loses its fertile soil, agricultural producers move on, clear more forests, and continue the cycle of soil loss. Agrochemicals, also known as pesticides, are used on crops that are meant to help farmers increase yields. Not all pesticides are bad, but scientists have found that overuse of some of these chemicals can change soil composition and disrupt the balance of microorganisms in the soil. This stimulates the growth of harmful bacteria at the expense of the beneficial kinds. Soil eroded from the land, along with the pesticides and fertilizers that were applied to the fields, can wash away and end up in streams or waterways. This sedimentation and pollution can damage freshwater and marine habitats, as well as the local communities that depend on them. There are ways to prevent and slow down soil erosion. The four most common soil erosion prevention methods are vegetation, geotextiles, retaining walls, and mulch. Vegetation is the simplest and most natural way to prevent soil erosion. It happens through planting vegetation. Plants establish root systems, which stabilizes soil and prevents soil erosion. Geotextiles is an effective method because it also stabilizes soil. When used in conjunction with growing vegetation, it is even more effective. Geotextiles are permeable fabrics which, when used in association with soil, have the ability to separate, filter, reinforce, and protect the soil. Retaining walls can be built around the area of erosion to prevent water runoff, which would normally lead to further erosion. And if used with other methods, retaining walls can be a very effective way to prevent soil erosion. Applying a layer of mulch to the topsoil allows the soil to slowly soak up water as it protects against rain and restores pH levels. Even though there are ways to prevent soil erosion, there are also ways to grow crops without the use of soil at all. Hydroponics is one of these methods. Hydroponics grow plants by using water that is filled with nutrients. The plant's roots sit in the water solution and soak up the provided nutrients. The other method is aquaponics. Aquaponics mimic the natural symbolic relationship between fish and plants. It doesn't use chemicals such as pesticides and fertilizers. Aquaponics use 90% less water than traditional farming. By using aquaponics, you can grow crops in any weather, any time of the year, anywhere in the world. Because aquaponics recycles the water in the system, it gives you the ability to grow in droughts and areas with little water. Plus, plants grow twice as fast due to the natural fortified water from the fish. Since there is no use of chemicals, there is no harmful runoff into the local water system. Soil erosion is an issue that affects the biodiversity on Earth and it can be prevented using a variety of different techniques. The conservation of soil is necessary to help keep the planet we call home healthy.